deeply. There's an article I wrote in it called Catching Crabs Can Be Fun. <laughs> this guy here is just itching to read it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is our big bald dash cup competition night, so you are lucky enough to see me, Otis T. Red, who has been in every competition since its inception eight years ago. I'm going to win because I'm going to do it the all-American way. Diet. I'm cheap. Yeah. There are three people who have given me a particularly tough time in the Baldy Dash Cup. First is a young man named Sutter Bestwick. Sutter's not going to be here tonight. Called in, said he had four flat tires. Don't know how that happened. <laughs> then, of course, there is Chilton Thompson. Chilton uh, is not also not going to be able to make it. Uh, Chilton got an anonymous telephone call, something about his wife. He's out looking for a private detective tonight. <laughs> then, of course, you all saw how I got rid of Hathaway Brown. He's down in Kissimmee St. Cloud, desperately looking for a busload of topless cheerleaders. Uh, it is true, there is a desperate group of cheerleaders in, on a bus down there. Uh, what Hathaway doesn't know, uh, that they are retired cheerleaders from Century Village. <laughs> He's going to need a lot more than two hands to give them support. <laughs> so it looks like I, Otis T. Wren, will be the only member competing for the beautiful Balderdash Cup. Let me show it to you, shall I? <laughs> Get ready, it's so impressive. Oh, oh, but first let's all give a big hand to Peter Zambezi! <laughs> in our club's organ, and let's face it, ladies and gentlemen, who doesn't want fingers on their organ? <laughs> and as you can see, he used to reside upstairs, but earlier in the evening there was a slight accident, he ended up down here. I have one thing to say, it was not my fault. <laughs> it was not! And, and I am, as I said, the famous ichthyologist, Professor Otis T. Wren! <laughs> Our club's highest achievement, the Boulder Dash Cup, will be awarded to the Adventurer of the Year! But first, in accordance with club tradition, I need everyone to rise up and march along to our all-purpose club theme song. Hit it, fingers! Stand up, everybody! Excuse me, excuse me, 
coming through. Man with a baby coming through. <laughs> what? Am I the only competing member? No other members present? No Sutter Bastwick? No Chilton Thompson? No <laughs> Hathaway Brown? <laughs> well, it looks like I and I alone. Coming in Ventura's Club. This is Hathaway Brown coming in for a landing. Navigate the globe <laughs> without a boat. <laughs> what happened to the shark? He became a lawyer. <laughs> you know, that sounds like shame a lot to me, Professor. Now, <laughs> I'll tell you a tale of real adventure. I couldn't find 
Sheldon Thompson. Then you can't compete. Well, no, wait a minute. Hold, hold it, Ren, hold it. What? Say there, adventurer. If you got a tale, you can prove. Oh, yes, sir, I do. Well, then let your tale be told. Okay, I was at the AMP. After me. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I was flying relief supplies to the victims of a cataclysmic earthquake on the island of Krakatoa. I wasn't just sport fishing for the fun of it, Professor. Sport fishing? That was very Sure, but who here would be interested in a story about 
tonight, both of you. And as you go on your way tonight, I want you to remember our motto. Some days you eat the bear, and some days the bear eats you. But always, dress for the hunt.